Hello everyone. I'd like to do a example for Gauss elimination, and hopefully you've seen my previous video because I'll be using some of these equations that I went over last time. Okay, so we're given these three equations. I'm going to augment that into a into this matrix. So we have our coefficient matrix three by three, and then our right hand side right here. Okay, so I'm gonna want to start by modifying this first row to make this a zero, All right? Because in the end we want this to be a zero, this to be a zero, and this to be zero. So step one is make this guy a zero. Okay. So I want our first row. Our first row. Oops. I want our first row to be row P and our second row to be row R. Remember in the equation it was A sub R P over A sub P comma P times row P. So here we have P is equal to 1 and R is equal to 2. Okay, so we're going to subtract each uh, member of row R by this equation or this constant times the row, elements of the row and let's see what that'll be so if we come up here A sub 2 1 so row 2 comma column 1 will be a 1 over A sub 1 1 that's just 2 times each element of row 1. So I'll just say row 1. Okay, and in the last video I kind of put in this row, uh, put in this equation right here, this subtracted by, and we found our row. So I'll do that, or uh, we found our modified row. So I'll do that again. So if we come up, let's see, this is our row 2, yeah, just double checking, okay. So we want to put a 1, a 9, a 6, and a negative 1. And then we can see right here, uh, remember that this part will always stay the same for each one of these. So I can just write this out really quickly. Minus 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. And then we can come in here and add in this row. So the first one is 2. Second one is 8. 4. And a 2. Okay, so a 1 minus, uh, this is a 1, it's a 0, that's good, because we want to make that a 0. a 9 minus, that's a 4, equals a 5, a 6 minus a 2, equals 4, and then a negative 1 minus a uh, negative 1, yeah, minus 1 is equal to negative 2. So this is our answer right here. Okay, so this is our modified row. We can come in here and now we have a 0, a 5, a 4, and a negative 2. And that's it for the first step. So then we want to do this again, right? Because we want to get this guy equal to zero. So we come down here, and I kind of did everything already. So a sub 3, 1. a sub 3, 1 is equal to a 3. a sub 1, 1 is equal to a 2. So it's 3 divided by 2 times each element of row 1. 
So we write out our row 3 and then start subtracting by that factor multiplied by each element of the row and so on. And then we get our numbers 0, negative 6, negative 8, negative 2. We put that back into our into our matrix, our augmented matrix. And then now we want to get this to 0. Okay, so step 3. We're going to write out row 3 and subtract by this guy. Remember, we don't want to use this guy because if we do use this, this will come out to a non-zero. So if you use this guy, if we multiply by a zero, then we'll get a zero. So we want to use this, this guy. And I've labeled it so that you, you know that the, these numbers are modified. So A sub 3, 2 is a modified number. So just to clear that up. Then we come down and do the same exact thing. Input, input our row 3, subtract by our factor, and then multiply by each member of our row that we're using to modify our row 3. Let's do the math, and put that back into the matrix, and then you're done with this part. Then you can go back and solve for each for each x. So yeah, I mean it's pretty clear that x3 you just move you just move the negative 3.2 over and that's equal to x3 and then input that in solve for x2 input those two in and solve for x3. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go back up here really quickly. And I just want to ask you, what happens if this guy right here was originally 0? Well, you would come down here, and you would, you would run into this problem. You would be dividing by 0. And that's kind of our problem. So in my next video, I'm going to be talking about some issues with this, with this Gaussian elimination. And the way I've been doing it is also called naive Gaussian elimination because I've been naively neglecting some of, some of the issues that come about with Gaussian, el Gaussian elimination. And one of those is divided by zero. But you can also have a situation where you're dividing by a really, 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 really small number, and then you get some round off errors, and and there's a couple things that you can do about that. And I'll talk about that in my next video. So see you then.